Mmm, that's good. Mmm, that's good. But these cookies have cute little sprinkles. How could I possibly pick a favorite? Maybe I don't have to. We can make a giant chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, snickerdoodle, sugar cookie deluxe. With rainbow sprinkles, of course. Mm. I need to ask Jake for these recipes. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. you later. Hey, it's a postcard. I wonder who it's from. <sighs> Dear Connect HQ, I love celebrating Christmas and other holidays. How many holidays could a person celebrate in one day? Signed, Eva. Huh. Oh. Huh. P.S. Why do holidays have to end? P.P.S. Why can't every day be a holiday? P.P.P.S. Who gets to decide these things? You know, Eva, you are totally right. Christmas is awesome, holidays are awesome. And you've got me wondering, how many holidays could a person celebrate in one day? I have no idea, but I think I know how to find out. Whoa. Lola's right, what's with all the decorations? Yeah, it's a little early for uh, Christmas, New Year's, Easter. Fourth of July. I know, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate. Go on. We got a postcard today from a girl named Eva. She wanted to know how many holidays we could celebrate in a single day. She loves celebrating so much and wishes every day could be a holiday. Multiple holidays in one day? How would that work? Just make up our own? Tony, imagine orange soda day. Oh, yeah. Or cookies with every meal day. <gasps> or pizza day. Yes. Ooh, I know. Trumpet day. We could listen to some of my favorite trumpet players. It'll be great. Why not? You know what? I woke up this morning on the wrong side of the bed, but these celebrations have turned my entire mood around. You know, that actually reminds me of a Bible theater I saw in the archives earlier. Do you guys want to watch? You bet. Yeah. <laughs> this is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching, read through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book is alive. I've had a hard day. Our new puppy chewed a hole in my favorite shirt. My brother ate the last of the cereal and I stepped in a puddle and my socks got all wet. Oh, and I almost forgot. I also bit my tongue. Hard days remind me of Paul and Silas in the book of Acts. Trust me, they had some really hard days. Kinda like my day? Even worse, Paul and Silas went all the way to Rome to teach people about Jesus. They did amazing things there through God's power. That all sounds pretty great to me. Well, some people didn't like it. They took Paul and Silas to the city rulers and accused them of causing trouble. Then, the rulers ordered soldiers to beat Paul and Silas with wooden rods. That's awful! It was. Then they put Paul and Silas in prison and told the jailer to make sure they didn't escape. Were Paul and Silas really upset? Actually, they prayed and sang songs of praise to God while the other prisoners listened. Then, around midnight, there was a huge earthquake. Great, so things got even worse? No, they got better. As the prison shook, the doors flew open and the prisoners' chains fell off. Then- Wait, let me guess. Paul and Silas and all the other prisoners escaped? 
That's what the jailer thought, too. When he woke up and found the prison doors open, he thought all the prisoners must have gotten out. He was so afraid, he took out his sword to kill himself. What? Why would he do that? He thought the soldiers would kill him anyway for not doing his job. But just then, Paul called out to him from inside the jail. He said, wait, don't kill yourself. See, we're all still here. Wait, you mean no one escaped? That's right. Since Paul and Silas chose to praise God, even though they were wrongfully imprisoned, all the prisoners were amazed. They did the right thing. They didn't escape, even when they had the chance. The jailer must have been really happy. He was. He took Paul and Silas to his house, where they ate a meal together. And Paul and Silas got to tell everyone in the jailer's family about Jesus. Everyone believed and was baptized. Wow, Paul and Silas made a big difference, even on a hard day. Yep, even when things were hard, they showed everyone that God is always good, no matter what else is going on. You know what? God is good. All the time. Wow, how did Paul and Silas stay so joyful during such hard times? Well, Paul and Silas were celebrating because they knew who God is. They knew that they always had something to be joyful about and praise God for. Yeah, exactly. In the Old Testament, God taught his people to have special celebrations to remind them of all the wonderful things that he's done for them. Well, Paul and Silas were members of the family of God. Well, they were taught that too. That's amazing. God is so good. And he makes every day worth celebrating. What are we going to celebrate today? Taco Pizza Day. Cuddle all the puppies day. Sleeping Bag Ninja Movie Marathon Day. Extra cheese pizza day. Sorry, I didn't have breakfast. Oh my goodness, a breakfast pizza sounds so good right now. Would you put bacon on that? What about throwing a huge party for doing something spectacular? Like... Learning to pop a wheelie. Yes! Or ice skating on one leg. Or, or building the tallest blanket fort. Oh, oh, I got one, I got one. <gasps> Nap day. Uh. Nap, because sleep's important. It's not really what we're going for here. But, but... <laughs> but if it's something that you'd like to celebrate, then we can try. Yes. So, when do we start? Why not now? Jaden, do you want to help me gather more party supplies? Oh, uh, I will go order some pizza. Uh, how can I help? Jake, you're on cookie duty. Use those cookie making skills of yours. Consider it done. I come with cookies. Oh. Hey, Tony, what's with the blankets? <laughs> and Jake, what happened to you? Well, the blankets are for nap day, <laughs> remember? After all this food, you're definitely going to take a nap, trust me. And Jake, what, what did happen to you, man? Uh, my cookie-making process might be a little, uh, messy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. Well, happy pizza day. Happy cookies with every meal day. Happy trumpet day. Happy nap day. And nap day. <laughs> Different Voices Day, where we all get to talk in different accents all day long. Hey, you can have a celebration for anything. Maybe we should have a party every day. This has been so much fun. Yeah, why hasn't anyone ever thought of this before? All right, who's ready for another round of pin the pepperoni on the pizza? Oh, it's on. Wait, where's Tony? Um, well, we forgot orange soda. Maybe he wants to go get some. Hmm. You guys go ahead and start the game. I will be right back. Cheerio, mate. Tony? Tony? Tony! Ah! Ah! <sighs> what are you doing back there? I was napping. It's nap day. Oh, I'd kind of forgotten about that holiday. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You know, I've had a really good time celebrating with everyone, but I think my favorite celebrations are the one where we just get to slow down and relax, which is why I suggested... Nap day. Exactly. I guess I didn't realize that some people celebrate by slowing down. That's okay. Everyone celebrates in their own unique way. So what does that look like to you? Hmm. Well, for me, I think something that is both relaxing and worth celebrating is my relationship with God. Actually, Rodney and Vanessa just got done with a skit vision about celebrations. Do you want to watch it with me? Sure thing. <laughs> Hey, 
Rodney. Waiting in line for the new Sleeping Bag Ninjas movie. Yeah, you know it. That movie doesn't come out for three months. What are you doing here? Well, I've been kind of bummed out over the last few weeks, and new movies are one of my favorite things to celebrate. <laughs> and standing in line makes me happy, so I thought I'd show up a little bit early. This is more like a lot early. Yeah, but what else is going on to celebrate? I have good news for you, Rodney. They moved up the release date for Sleeping Bag Ninjas? No, not that. But even when it isn't a holiday or a special celebration, when you know Jesus, every day is a reason to celebrate. Huh? While every day isn't a holiday or a special event, when you know Jesus, every day is a day to celebrate. Oh, I see what you're saying. Reminds me of a verse. Can I show it to you? Sure. Goes like this. Philippians 4.4. 4. Philippians 4.4. 4. Always be joyful. Always be joyful. Because you belong to the Lord. Because you belong to the Lord. That's it. Wow. So even on days that I'm not feeling great, I know the joy of the Lord is still in my heart. And on days that are holidays or special events, like the premiere of the new Sleeping Bag Ninjas movie, we can use that as an opportunity to remember how good God is. God is so good. Thanks, Vanessa. Sure thing, bud. Would you like to go watch a movie with me? Sure. Thanks for sharing that, Tony. Hey, yeah, I needed the reminder too. We can celebrate Jesus in a special way every day. Celebrate Jesus in a special way every day. I can thank God for the cookies, puppies, and pizza, but he's the real cause for celebration. Do you think we should share that with the rest of the team and Eva? You read my mind. <laughs> I think we may have gone a bit overboard with all the sugar and pizza. Or maybe nap day's cooler than you thought. Tony, we're kids. Right, right. Ahem! <coughs> Canadian bacon! Sorry, but I'm just having a really sweet... It wasn't a dream. Long live pizza day! Well, I think we've all had a really good time uh, at the party, but actually Dot and I have something we'd like to share with you. Better than pizza puppies and popping wheelies? So much better. Did we manage to celebrate 26 different holidays today? Yes, we did, and it was amazing. But we don't need to create more holidays. We already have the most amazing thing to celebrate no matter what day it is. We can celebrate Jesus in a special way every day. Ah, like when we worship. Or through the skills he's given us, like cooking. We also celebrate Jesus through baptism or how we serve and treat others. What a great reminder. Don't get me wrong, pizza does make me happy, but it doesn't come close to how awesome God is. Yes, and it doesn't matter if you like big, loud celebrations or small, quiet celebrations. There are all ways we can remember how good God is. I love that there are so many ways we can celebrate God. See, my family has a tradition where we actually make things. So Eva, I don't know if this is a record or anything, but Connect HQ managed to celebrate 26 different holidays today. I think that's pretty great. But we learned something amazing along the way. Do you remember the Bible verse from earlier? Why don't we say it together? It goes like this. Philippians 4, 4. Always be joyful because you belong to the Lord. When we make the choice to be a part of God's family, we always have a reason to celebrate. When Paul and Silas were put in prison, their lives got really tough, but they still made the choice to celebrate. It wasn't because of happy feelings or a special holiday. They celebrated because of who God is. Today, we set out to celebrate as many holidays as we could, and it was so much fun. But we discovered that we don't need a special holiday to celebrate each day. God is good, loving, and powerful, and we can celebrate who He is in our own special ways every day. So the next time you start to feel bummed out because you don't have a holiday to celebrate, don't forget, we can celebrate Jesus in a special way every day. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I 
should come up with some holiday mashups. What about Chris giving? Would you give other people Chris's or would Chris's give to you? What if we combined Easter and 4th of July and we fired peeps up into the air? I wonder what that would smell like. Burnt marshmallow? We combine Easter and Christmas and we eat cheese. I don't know why, it has nothing to do with the holiday, but I just love cheese. Every day may not be a holiday, but when you know and follow Jesus, you can celebrate every day. If you've never made the choice to make Jesus your leader and your number one friend, you can do that today. All you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Maybe even plan a party. Following Jesus is definitely something to celebrate.